We're going to start Total Football today with a new interview that's just reached us. Arguably the best player of all time, Lionel Messi, looks like he is on his way out of Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, he's been suspended after skipping training to go on a sponsored trip to Saudi Arabia. PSG head coach Christophe Galtier has been speaking in the last hour. Here's what he's had to say on the situation. Une de, de, de la décision qu'a qu qu pris la, la direction euh, de suspendre euh, Léo. Et une fois que... On m'a informé de, de la décision, j'ai pris moi la responsabilité de ne pas la commenter. Je suis salarié du club, une décision est prise, je ne la commente pas. Léo Messi a had had a flight plan to go to Saudi Arabia, where he's an ambassador for the uh, Office of Tourism. And he said that he could not postpone it again, he postponed the, the trip twice already this season. So he had to go, he said, despite not having the permission from the club because there was training on Monday. So he didn't turn up for training, which created, as you can imagine, massive chaos. The club took the decision to suspend him for two weeks without uh, any pay. And, and Messi accepted the sanction, said that I had to go to Saudi Arabia. It was in my contract with them, that sponsor contract that he had. But he meant that he's got no future at the club anymore. His, his contract finishes in June. They were kind of meetings to see if they could extend the deal. At some point, they had an agreement to continue together, but they never really found an agreement. And, and it felt very much since the, 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 the turn of the year that it was not going to happen. So Messi is not going to be in Paris next season. And he might not be the only name leaving PSG this summer. We understand they're open to offers for Neymar. PSG have had to tighten security at players' houses after protests from fans, including Neymar's. Est-ce qu'on reverra Neymar la saison prochaine euh, Croyez-moi, chère madame, que je suis très focus sur les cinq derniers matchs qui arrivent et on verra bien ce qui se passera la saison prochaine. Concernant le rassemblement de certains supporters devant chez au domicile d'un joueur, que ce soit Neymar ou quelqu'un d'autre, Je dis qu'il faut toujours faire très attention à cela et que la vie privée doit rester la vie privée. Je peux comprendre la colère, la déception de nos supporters. Je peux la comprendre. Je peux comprendre qu'on puisse venir manifester ici, sur notre lieu de travail. Je peux comprendre qu'on puisse venir manifester devant les bureaux de, de la factory du Parc Saint-Germain, une manifestation euh, assez calme. Je peux comprendre qu'on manifeste après un match au Parc des Princes. Je, je n'accepte pas qu'on puisse aller euh, au domicile de qui que ce soit, que ce soit Neymar ou quelqu'un d'autre. Voilà, Parce qu'à tout moment, il peut y avoir des débordements. Et Dieu sait que des débordements, on en voit beaucoup en ce moment dans l'actualité. Neymar, they try to sell him last summer. And they will try to sell him again this summer. We know that, for example, Todd Burley, the Chelsea owner, has met already Nasser Al Khalifi, the PSG president, a few times to talk about Neymar, to talk about the possibility of bringing Neymar to Chelsea. I don't know right now if this is still possible because Neymar is recovering from an ankle surgery and he's got a huge contract, obviously, with PSG with, with three years left on it, uh, four years left on it even. So I don't know if for Chelsea it's possible, but the only thing that we know is that only the Premier League Right now, I can afford Neymar. Well, could Newcastle make a move for the likes of Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo or Neymar this summer? They've got the financial backing now and potentially Champions League football next season. Eddie Howe, though, dismissed those links today. The players you mentioned are unbelievable players. Incredible players. So, I don't, I don't waste any time over speculation. You know, when we're, we're linked with different names, it's... Obviously, I know what direction I want to take the team in and what we can and can't do in the transfer market. So a lot, a lot of the names will not be accurate, but um, I understand you've got a job to do.